it's me again, Teacher Miss, and welcome to my channel! Yes, so we are now in module number 8 and we will discuss how you should understand financial ratios. So by now, you're already done with your um, financial plan, I suppose. And um, I, want you to, uh, I, I wanted to give a little information about ratios. Although I have a template for the computation of your... Um, of your ratios but I would like to explain a little bit more para kabalo mo sa unin siya pagtanaw but not everything uh, uh, just as how kasi I, if I would like to see reports regarding ratio gusto ko after ratio na siya mura little explanation no? you can do that although that's not required I think based on your ano but uh, th this is just a suggestion also para you will learn how to understand Financial mm. ratio. Again, this is module number number eight, and I hope you watch uh, modules one to seven. If ha you haven't, the li the link is in the description box. If you have questions, please comment on the specific module. Kung asa mo na ay question, dun kayo sa comment section mo comment so that others can also read if they, if they have already asked the same question. Again, this video is specifically made to train the students of Holy Cross of Davao College regarding financial plan, how to prepare financial plan using my uh, Excel, uh, Excel, fi Excel file template. Okay, so let's go to the Excel file and let's start! Okay, so we're here and on your screen is the uh, financial ratios of your company. So, this one are prepared already based on templates. So, again, kung isunod lang ninyo akong gingon that you will only change those that are in yellow and you will only add lines, uh, add and delete lines sa pre-operating expenses and sa sales, you should get this and you should not have a problem with it. Yeah. So, if you do encounter some errors, please contact me or, of course, no, I would suggest you figure it out by yourself because that's the way you can learn. Pero kung dili na dyan yung makaya, ayaw mong hilak APM ko, okay? Okay, so this is financial ratios. This is group according to profitability, liquidity, solvency, and payback period. So, if you had already taken up business finance, so uh, this is parang practical application of what you have learned sa finance uh, or based sa business plan niyo. Okay, so... There are other ratios that ang wala na ako siya appeal kay wala lang ako siya appeal <laughs> But you can add this kung naay gusto ipadugang ang um, inyong advisor so you can just add pangitala niyo ang formula you can find it I'm sure Okay so we'll start with the profit margin this is divided by net income uh, net income divided by service income so kana siya yan so for this particular example um, basing mating alam mo nung ang ano na ID, ang ano ang ako ang template is na asya yung sulod na data. The reason I do that is because para na amoy, na ako'y guide if I am giving you the right template. Kumbaga, mga tuto, kumbaga, na test, na test siya if, if it's right. Kung na ako'y gidugang and all that, na equal gihapon siya sa balance sheet. So, just, just, that's just okay. Okay? So, for the, for the uh, years 1, 2, and 3, so ideally, Musaka do dapat ang inyong profit margin. That's how how your 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 company is performing. Really, that is the bottom figure. Uh, that is the bottom figure percentage. So ideally, this should not be less than five percent. I th this is just my opinion, no. But of course, no the threshold will will always be. Pag below five percent nagani na mura gamay na jud na siya kaayo. That's too low, no. Ideally, ang ang best for me is mga 10% and above. Okay, so this one's good. Okay, uh, return on capital is the average capital. Um, actually, dapat average, but I used only the beginning capital, but I guess this is okay. Uh, that is the, uh, that is, so by, uh, through this, makita na ni mo dayon kung pila ka years ang, ang, yeah, ang payback, payback here, no, cash flows man, so, most probably, na mo idea kung nakabawi na ba mo. Okay? And then, we'll have liquidity ratio. So, if you can recall from your business finance, liquidity is, uh, it computes how the current assets can pay your current liabilities. So, there are two types. You have, ito yung pinaka-famous, yung current and acid test. Ang kalahian lang nila is ang acid test does not include inventories. Ang reason ana is, kasi ang inventories, dugay pa daw siya makonvert into cash. So, it's not really liquid. Okay, so ideally, 
Ang current ratio should not be less than 100% or should not be less than 1. Should not be less than 1. So in this case, this is 792%. So that means ang current ratio niya is around 7.92 kasi that's by 100% man. Kasi ang may tabuan na pag less than 100 siya, that means you cannot pay your your current assets cannot pay your current liabilities. Although, based sa template nga kung gibuhat, that's not likely to happen because this, the, the Excel file will compute, will suggest the amount of your, the Excel file will suggest the amount of the cash that you should invest in order that you will not have a negative account, a, a negative amount in your cash. So, the very important concept of this is there is no such a thing as Ang company, even if negative siya, but positive ang iyahang cash flows, it will still go on. Kasi yung ibig sabihin ng bankrupt, wala na kayong cash. Bankrupt does not mean negative ang inyong net income. Although, excessive loss can lead you to bankruptcy. But sometimes, even if you have net income, but you cannot manage your cash properly, mag-bankrupt you happen mo. Yeah. That's why we test uh, liquidity ratio to make sure that you can pay off your liability and that will not zero out your uh, cash balance. Kasi pag mag-zero out na siya, sirado. Okay, solvency ratios. Uh, I, I will not dwell with this so much. Um, kasi, the, uh, ano lang man siya, parang tinitingnan niya, which is bigger percentage, is it the debt or equity? So, para sa ako, di naman good kayo siya help. Although this is very helpful para sa mga nagapautang. But since mostly ang business plan is Ang assumption na to, this is paid in cash siya. Okay, so we also have break-even point. Okay, ang ibig sabihin ng break-even point is the amount of sales that you will have to achieve in order for you to have a positive net income. So in this case, so this is 676. If the sales is more than 676, ibig sabihin nun, you're guaranteed of a positive net income. If your sales is less than that, you will definitely get uh, negative negative uh, income. So, yun, that's the meaning of break-even point. So, if, if the sale is equal to 6, 7, 6, 3, 20.85, that is your break-even. You will not have losses. You will not have you will not have um, gains. Okay? And then, the last one is the payback period. So, ito usually ang kailangan nyo lang. So, all of these, you don't need to change except for the payback period. So, First thing yung palitan is the amount of balance and investment. So, this will be based on the pre-operating expenses. So, if this is 200, dapat there is a ratio. Ang inyong ibutang is 200. Yan. And then, you will get the cash flow. So, where do you get the cash flow from operation? It is coming from your statement of cash flows. Kanisha, you click that one and then kanisha ang cash flow. Okay, that's why the cash flow is presented in indirect form so, so that in any abuhato ninyo ana first is a minus ninyo if if the cash flow from first year is less than the uh in initial investment so definitely you need to add another year so utang na to na siya diri and then okay let's copy this one ang abuhato ninyo ingon ani ha pero if ang cash flow niya is if ang cash flow niya is more than the ano, so meaning you can, you can get the payback in less than one year. So, ang buhato ninyo, Anna, is the initial cost divided by the cash flow. So, if that will give you 0.9 times 12, that will be the number of months. But anyway, so in this example, less than man siya. Mas dako ang initial, meaning wala pa ni mo siya nabawi in a year. So, ang buhato ninyo, Anna, is magbutang ka dali og balance. So, you go to pre-ops, which is 200, and then, ibawas ni mo ang cash flow sa year 1. That's your balance. Okay, pag abot sa year 2, you need to correct this one. You go to cash flow, and then year 2 is 133. Yan. So, makita ni mo, no? 133, and this is 88. So, that would mean, mabawi na ni mo siya this year. So, zero na siya diri. Uh, kasi, mas dako naman ang, ang cash kesa sa remaining balance of the initial capital. So, you should write this one 1 and then you get the proportion of the balance and the cash flow here. Too. So, this is equal the balance of the previous year divided by current year. So, see, that's 0.67. So, 
So meaning ani 1 1.67 years. So usually kasi ang payback period I like it written really in months. So this will be para mabal ani mo kung pila ka months ning 0.67, try ni mo siya compute 12 kasi 12 months in a year times this one. So you will get 7.99. So you always round up. You always bisan pag 7.01 na siya, you round that up. So that will be 8. So this will be 1 year and 8 months. Okay. So, muna siya. That's it. Yan lang ang palitan ninyo. Okay, so, what is the significance of this in your preparation? I I understand na mga executive summary ang inyong format. So, under executive summary, uh, ideally, that will be one paragraph per chapter. So, the last, since the last chapter is, ano, since the last chapter is financials so that would mean uh, you have to include the last chapter ang financial highlights so the best way to 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 write the the financial highlights is you would write pila initial investment pila ang sales for years 1 2 3 and then pila ang iyang profit margin the profit so you just say the initial capital the the capitalization uh, uh, partners will contribute 50000 each which will give you Initial capitalization of 200,000. Yeah, that's sentence number one for paragraph, last paragraph. Sentence number two, you're, you say the, the, the sales for, uh, the sales for years one and two are, the sales for years one, two, and three are 864 and uh, respectively. That's your second statement. And then you just say the ratio, profitability ratio is, uh, the, sorry, the profit margin is 10.28% for year 1, 12, blah, 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 and then 14.02 for year 3. And the payback period, ang last ni mga statement is the, the business is expected to, to, uh, sabihin mo sa last statement, the payback period for this investment is 1 year and 8 months. Kasi di ba nga, ang ginatanaw man lang, ang, ang, ang vision sa business plan is, sa executive sa mali pa lang, makita na ni, the investor, kasi as supposed to be magbabasa ng business plan, are potential investors. So, makita na na niya dito nga, oh, I can get my investment back in one year and eight months based on this simple uh, formula. Okay? So, what else is the purpose of financial ratios? Under your general company description, I'm not sure kung sa inyo hang format, but there's, an, there's a part there where you have objectives. I'm sure na, siguro may objectives, di ba? So, you'll have um goals and then the objectives so objectives are smart uh, specific measurable blah 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 so nakabutan dito kasi it's smart diba measurable nakabutan dito sa inyong objectives diba ang objectives appeal man yun na ang profitability and sustainability so ang profitability iingon dyan na ninyo nga ang inyong objective is dapat profit margin is should be more than 10% so si panel tanaw ni niya sa ratio kung na-achieve ba ninyo in yung objective so that's how it goes so that's how your business plan is connected to your financial plan okay so i hope you have learned something from this video maraming salamat for those of you who made it through uh module number eight <laughs> yeah thank you very much if you have questions please comment lang po and don't be afraid to contact me. I will be happy to help. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something. That will be all for module number 8. Thank you. Goodbye!